just picked up weights four months ago and look at her now booty's popping here we go your upper booty can be very stubborn to grow if you are not doing it right so we're going to show you guys the glute exercises six of them that have been in her routine every single week to grow her top shelf she was someone who just picked up weights four months ago and look at her booty now it's important to have the same glute exercises in your routine that you can progressive overload on increasing your weights to get really really heavy and we're going to show you guys those six today here with annie Straight leg kickbacks, you guys see me do these every single glute workout. I will start the glute workout with straight legs. If not straight legs, it's a donkey kick, which is very similar. I'll show you guys right after these. But what you're focusing on here, knee gets up to hip extension every time, right? You see how her knee is just getting above her glute to squeeze? That's the only way you're gonna contract that upper glute. Good. And then the tap of the toe on the ground, reset your rep. If you don't reset, you're just gonna be flinging this thing all over the place. It's not gonna be controlled. You gotta know where that foot lands and comes from every single time to complete a good rep. Your straight legs, you can get away with the, the cables getting in your shin, but the donkeys, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna turn the ankle strap. That cable is sitting on top of her calf, not under squeezing her calf, it'll hurt. So donkey kickback, same thing. If you guys prefer the donkeys over the straight legs, go for it, but it's the same concept. It's all in the knee, whether your, your legs bent like this or you're doing a straight leg, you're getting this knee to hip extension to squeeze, contract the upper glutes here. It's the same thing. One, one's just bent kicking out, one's just already straight and getting up, right? Same thing, you might just be able to do more weight on the straight legs, because there's more motion going on here. But like I said, what you're paying attention to is this knee. This knee getting up to hip extension every time, whether it's a donkey or whether it's a straight leg. The number one glute exercise, we do these at least two times a week, three times, but the third one will usually be a single leg. So I'm gonna show you guys those with the peach gain hip thrust belt. These are so good for the upper booty. So bring your heels back. Mm -hmm. So we gotta make sure that her heels are under her knees. So then when she gets to the top, her hips, her chest and her knees are all leveled, but then her heels are right under her knees. Let's see, come up, squeeze, good. Now on the hip thrust, you need to reach full hip extension like she is here and then form the posterior pelvic tilt, right? Don't try to get the tilt too low. You got to get all the way up, then squeeze and bring it together like she is. So like I said, we'll do these, let's just say two times a week and she'll do a warm up set with 25s on each side. And then we'll work our way up in the sets to try to increase the weight as much as possible, settling for less reps because you do need to increase your weights. It might take you a few weeks and a few times hitting these before you can actually increase your weights, but that's why we repeat them over and over again. That's the whole point of this video is to show you guys the upper glute exercises we continue to repeat so that you can increase weights in order for you to grow. Yeah, nobody likes them. There's a reason why they hurt so bad though, because they're the number one glute exercise ever, 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 ever. Hip thrusts in general are number one. Now, if you put all that weight on one leg, oh man, if you're really trying to grow your booty, if you're really trying to go that upper booty, this is it right here. So you got the peach gains hip thrust belt. Got to make sure you um, attach these dumbbells really tight into the belt. So then they just hang right off your side like that and they're comfortable. So now we're going to go, let's show them B stance first. So this is if it would be your first time hitting single leg hip thrust. Let's see. No, so you're going to let that leg be. Yeah, there you go. So the reason why she has that out is just for assistance, just to help her with balance but she's still focusing all the way on this right one. Mm -hmm. So digging that weight into your heel, there you go. And if you need to, to help your, train your mind, keep your toe up and that'll help you just rock on your heel. But same thing, reaching full hip extension and then pelvic tilt, right? But the hip extension doesn't just continue. You got a pelvic tilt, you got to squeeze your abs and your glutes together once you reach full hip extension, just like that. This is your number one glute exercise. And you guys used to see us do it with the Dumbbell on the knee, no more. You got it here, now you can focus on the movement, focus on that mind to muscle, focusing on the contraction. That's the whole point of these upper glute exercises is to feel the contraction. Okay, now we're gonna do your other leg. And now we'll show you guys just the normal version without any B stand or okay. kind. Here we go. So this is what it would look like if you're taking the leg off and you're doing a normal single leg hip thrust all the way right here. Uh-huh, good. 
And you see how she's just letting this leg come up. You can even use it to help, yeah, to help you reach hip extension if you need to, right? But that's it, just let, let it be. Have a slight bend in it, whatever is comfortable to you. So then you can focus everything here. Great form, using your single leg hip thrust belt. Good. <laughs> we got back extensions. These are so good for the upper glutes. This, this is the only reason why I do these, is for the upper booty. Now, you're gonna have duck feet in the back to help you engage makes a big difference so what you're going to feel like is you're pushing your hips against this pad notice how she's rounding her back when she comes up yes she's not lifting her torso she's pushing her hips against this pad and then squeezing which is what's causing that round in her back so if you were to have a weight you would hug a, a 10 pound 25 pound plate or you can have a dumbbell as well the girls love dumbbells these are so good though notice how high she's getting this is hip extension coming up that's as high as you need to go Paying attention to her lower back. This is going to round naturally because she's doing it the right way. She's pushing her hips against the pad and squeezing her glutes. That squeeze in the glutes is naturally rounding her back. The more round you get, the more activation you're going to feel up here. Good. You need to bring your heels closer. You can do that. Yeah. That's usually what I tell the girls is you want your calves, your upper calves kissing your hamstrings to start because then you're under yourself a lot more on these glute bridges. Yeah, there you go. So very similar to your hip thrusts. Now you're just flat on your back. So there's no hip flexion, right? This, these are like number two for upper booty growth because it's all contraction. You're just reaching full hip extension, posterior pelvic tilt and contracting the upper glutes. Back flat, make sure you reset every time. Your hip extension, you're taking it a little too far. There you go. So same thing like on the hip thrusts. When she gets to the top, Yes, you see how her rib cage is staying down? Her hips and her knees are all leveled with her rib cage at the top. Squeeze in the abs. Whenever you feel like you're extending too high, you're feeling it in your back, just think to squeeze your abs at the top, right? These are good though. Keeping your knees open as well like she is, really good. But this is like number two for, if it wasn't for hip thrust, glute bridges would be number one for the upper booty. Because that's all it is. It's really contracting your upper glutes. There's no, There's not much hip flexion here. So you're really just going flat from the ground all the way up to hip extension, pelvic tilt, contract the upper booty. These are so good. And you can get a ton of weight on the glute bridges because they're coming straight from the ground. Okay, good. All right. Okay, so we got the peach cane hip thrust belt for the kneeling thrusters right here. Okay, so you're just gonna strap these in. What I did when I put this on, I, I, I strapped it first and then I hook them on. So here, let me show them again. This is what I'm doing. You see the end of this? I'm gonna put it to the end of the Velcro here. So it's gonna line up just like this. Boop. And that's what the other one had done. Then you close it and then you can hook it in. So then they're both evenly distanced on each side. And you just put it that bad boy in there. Boom. If you got the dual cables, Okay, there we go. So now she's gonna pull them up to her hips. Now this is important. You need to have the right distance from the cable to where your knees drop. This is good enough distance. And then whatever you're holding on to needs to be out far enough. So then when you come back in your hip flexion, your chest is staying in front of your knees like this, right? Because if it's coming back, if your chest comes back with your knees, that's where you're gonna feel all this in your quads. You're just turning it into a kneeling squat, not a kneeling thruster. Here we go, let's see it. So, like that. You see how her chest stays in front of her knees? Yeah, uh -huh. and she can even reach that out further. There you go. And then keeping the toes, keeping the toes and the knees wide though. Knees wide. If your toes are not touching, that's fine. You just gotta make sure you got a wide base on your knees. These are so good. So she's gonna get deep in the hip flexion without sitting her butt on her heels, which is where that's quad focus. She's gonna keep her butt over her heels, come through, squeeze hip extension, posterior pelvic tilt. Notice how all these thrusts, which is what I've said before, any upper booty exercise involves the hip extension to posterior pelvic tilt. Notice how when she gets to the top, she's tall. She's standing tall and she's squeezing her abs, right? Now show them the wrong way. Go all the way through without posterior pelvic tilt. Keep going, keep going. You see that? I see that a lot too, where you keep dragging it like that. You see how her hips, how her back's back here and her hips are forward? No, no bueno. Boom, 
stand tall. There you go, that's better. And she has just such a flexible back too, which is why you're seeing that arch so much. But as long as you don't continue to carry that hip extension out and you get that posterior pelvic tilt, you'll be fine. And you start training at that. And they, these will help you with everything else too, with your hip thrust, your back extensions, your glute bridges, any thrust where you're hip extending and posterior pelvic tilt, these will help with that practice. Good. And then to add to that note, once you start really increasing your weights, we didn't have to today because the weight isn't too heavy. You can set two heavy dumbbells behind your heels. You can do that in general as well. We just didn't today. But you guys can set two heavy dumbbells right behind your heels and that'll stop your feet from sliding because you do want your toes to stab into the ground. And I, I get a lot of um, girls telling me that their feet slide when they start to up their weight. Put heavy heavy kettlebells or dumbbells behind your heels and you that'll solve the problem. Such a good machine for the upper booty. This is my number one machine. If I'm using any machine for the glutes, it's this guy right here. We end, I try to end every glute workout with this machine. It's usually a pyramid set and I'll drop that pyramid set in the description. This is so good for contracting the upper booty, but you have to lean back, okay? Just like that. You guys have seen the version where you're holding on like this. That's more for the under booty. This is for the upper glutes. We'll, sh we'll show you guys the under booty next week. But this is such a good machine for the upper booty when tilting back like she is here, coming all the way up and open. So you guys can either start your glute workout with this. I would say like five sets of 10 to 15, trying to up your weight as much as possible. But then we do a pyramid set to end the glute workout to produce that pump. So we'll go 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 reps all the way up until their heaviest weight. Once they can't hit that weight, then we go all the way back down 10, 10, 10, 10 with no rest. That's our pyramid set for the hip abduction machine. This is the last machine I want to show you guys for the upper booty, hip abductors. And you guys can do these with the band too, right? The band, ankle straps, however you want to set it up. But if you guys got the machine, use the machine. The second most important part to your booty growth is growing the under glutes, learning how to lengthen and stretch the glutes. We're going to show you guys that next week. So stay tuned, comment, like, and subscribe. Ask any questions you may have on nutrition, workouts, form, whatever it may be. But come back next week so you guys can see Annie's under booty routine that we are currently doing. Peace.